Hello YouTube, today I'm going to discuss about the lessons that I learned from The Richest Man in Babylon. The Richest Man in Babylon is a book that I finished reading recently and I learned various lessons. For example, I learned the, the, what the requirements of attaining wealth. I learned about the steps that you have to follow in order to attain wealth. So, let us start with the requirements to attain wealth. Uh, the richest man in Babylon talks about there are only two requirements that you need to attain well. This is time and study. What do I, uh, what do I mean by time? He says in this book that every man has abundant time. It means you have time to invest, you have time to, to, to make sure that you attain your wealth in the proper place. How? When you're young, invest that money. Reinvest again and reinvest again. So, we have, uh, we have study. Study has two things. Here, learn from the past experiences. What do I mean? Learn from experiences from, uh, from the rich people. Talk to them, they will give you knowledge. And what, and they will give you about their experiences. They will tell you more about their experiences. They will guide you in various things. Then, we have learn it from the books. Which books do I mean? read books that are written uh, uh, by rich people for example this one the one well, the richest man in babylon rich dad poor dad reading various books will help you to learn from the other people's experiences and put it in your own setting in your own understanding then the richest man in babylon taught us how to serve how do you serve you serve a tenth of your money or a tenth of your income. For example, if you're getting uh, 400,000, then it means that you have to save a tenth, which is around 40,000, if I'm not mistaken. Then it means after saving that money, after saving a tenth of that money, reinvest or invest it into real money. Uh, or who, what, what was the real money of these ends? Of, uh, of what of this time there were camels, goats cow uh, cows, land uh, which was in fact real estate so invest it in real money or after investing it in real money seek professional advice in fact you should uh, seek professional advice even before but before investing the, the one tenth of your money or of your income, or of your earning. You know, seek professional advice. What do I mean by seek pro, uh, professional advice? For example, if you want to invest in brick laying, go to a brick maker and seek professional advice or from a brick maker. If you want to invest in jewelry, go to a jewelry maker and seek professional advice. If you want to invest in cattle, go to a herdsman and seek professional advice but do not start a farm and, and go to a businessman and to tell you how to invest in a farm that one is the wrong strategy so reinvest the profits that you have gotten from the investments what do i mean by here these the profits that you get from your investments after investing that is those ones are the children of your investment so it means that you're supposed to again reinvest them into other projects into other projects that will bring more income and leading to ensuring future income or expanding your future income or your future earnings. Then, increase your ability to earn. How do you increase your ability to earn? By investing in, uh, in, what, in various, by investing in various ventures. Hence, real estate, uh, in cattle, camels, and other money. So, this is what I learned from uh, the richest man in Babylon. So tomorrow we shall talk about the other part of how you should pay your debts um, per, per the richest man in Babylon. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the notification button.